everybody, I'm Alex and I'm one of the science kids. Now, if you're like me, well, you don't really want to die. And I'm pretty sure you agree with me. Not even if you're a human, even if you're an animal and you're watching this video, you don't want to die either, do you? The only problem is, there's something called a food chain. Animals higher on the food chain eat animals that are lower on the food chain. That's just the way nature has been. However, animals that are lower on the food chain won't go down without a fight. They will use evolution to their advantage. How, you might ask? Well, animals could use certain defense mechanisms to prevent themselves from getting eaten by predators or from preventing animals of their species to be, to be eaten by predators. So predators know, oh gosh, I don't want to eat these. Something bad's going to happen to me back. For example, one way animals do this is the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly is toxic, so whenever birds eat the monarch butterfly, they can get extremely sick or even die. So they'll know in the future, okay, we can't eat any more monarch butterflies. Another way to do this is just flat out hide. Camouflage yourself so that predators can't see you and therefore you won't get eaten. Well, how are you supposed to do that, you might ask? Well, evolution comes to the rescue. You see, animals that have traits that make them more likely to get eaten by the predators or to die, they'll eventually die out. And if at some point an animal is able to get a trait that makes them more likely to live, that trait will stay because the animals with that trait will live longer and have more kids with that same trait and the animals that don't will just die out and not have children with those same traits. So eventually the trait will become a norm of the entire species. That's how evolution works. And that's how animals like the monarch butterfly or the octopus got their traits to prevent them from getting eaten by predators or to even help them get prey. But remember, as I said earlier, evolution occurs over many, many, many thousands of years. So it's not that easy. So animals can't really just get a trait immediately. A lot of animals are gonna die until they get the trait and evolve so that they can live longer. So what do they do in the meantime? Well, there are animals that have already developed traits that could help them survive in the wild. So animals that don't have these traits use something called mimicry. Basically, they copy the animals that do have these traits and trick other predators into thinking, oh, this is the animal that has the trait that makes me get sick whenever I eat them. But they really don't have any traits to protect them from the predators. This evolutionary mimicry is by far one of the coolest things you'll find in the wild. Here are just some examples to list a few. The viceroy butterfly, which mimics the monarch butterfly, which is very, very toxic. The robber fly, which mimics the feared tarantula hawk wasp. Marine flatworms, which mimic the toxic and poisonous sea slugs. And the scarlet king snake, which mimics the dangerous and infamous coral snake. And that is evolutionary mimicry. One of the coolest things that you could ever find in nature. We hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for our next few videos. Don't forget to follow us on our social media pages and subscribe to our channel. And as always, science is everywhere and in everything.